the happy book going back again and today we re I'm gonna be reading to you the puppy place buddy now I know I haven't read the puppy place for quite a while because I thought that you guys all might want to change a book which I thought was quite likely because I wasn't getting many views so I've done three chapters of the famous five now and I'm going back to doing buddy so I can finish buddy and then I'll be alternating between the two now between puppy plates and famous five let's go let's go chapter three when lizzie hung up miss dobbins was giving her a curious look a peterson powwow she asked lizzie nodded it's a special meeting she said we always have one for really important family decisions it wasn't always easy to get the petersons together but when someone mentioned a powwow they would drop anything else to intend well said Miss Dobbins. This is definitely a really important decision. Taking Skipper and her pups would be a big responsibility, and your whole family has to agree that it's the right thing to do. Lizzie nodded again. I know, she said. She could guess exactly how each member would feel about fostering Skipper and her puppies. Charles would be all for it. So would the Bean, of course. Dad would be concerned, but he would agree to it, as long as Lizzie and Charles promised they would do most of the work. And Mum? Mum had gotten used to the whole idea of the family fostering puppies, but so far they had only taken him one at a time. This was a whole different story. Lizzie walked three shelter dogs while she waited for her family to arrive. She kept her fingers crossed the whole time. She kept checking on Skipper and her pups too. By the third time Lizzie visited, <coughs> she was pretty sure that Skipper recognised her, and she was definitely sure that Skipper liked her. Some dog mothers could be very protective, but Lizzie thought Skipper would trust her around the puppies. She could hardly wait to hold them in her lap. Finally, when she was out in the fenced-in yard playing fetch with a buck lad named Tigger, she saw her dad's red pickup truck pull into the parking lot. Lizzie ran inside and put Tigger back in his kennel, just as Mrs Dobbins came into the dog room, followed by Charles, Dad and Mum. Dad had the bean by the hand, holding him tightly so he wouldn't run up to each of the kennels and put his fingers through the wire. Dogs and puppies always seemed to love the bean, but Lizzie and her family knew that it was best to play it safe. Mum had her hands over her ears. All of the dogs were barking to greet the new visitors, and the dog room was pretty noisy. Lizzie, said, asked Miss Dobbins, would you like to introduce your family to Skipper? Lizzie's heart thumped. More than anything, she wanted to take Skipper home with them, and she wanted to keep her baby safe and warm and happy until she could find perfect homes for each one. By now, she'd had her fingers crossed for so long that they were feeling cramped. But she tried to hide the nervousness in her voice. Sure, she said. She's over here. She led the way to Skipper's kennel. Skipper was curled up on a green corduroy dog bed with a proud motherly look on her pretty brown and tan face. Her three puppies gave squeaky barks and growls as they crawled around busily, climbing over one another in a big happy puppy pile. <coughs> Lizzie looked at her mum hopefully as her family approached the kennel. You see, she began, the thing is that Skip has. Charles saw them first. Puppies! He gasped in surprise. Everyone, I need to ask you a question right now. Do you think the Peterson family will take in the puppies, or do you think that the hill they'll only take in Buddy? Put it down in the comment section. I'll open up the comments as soon as I can, so that you guys can, as soon as you guys watch the video, you can tell me what you reckon. At this point, exactly. Pause the video, comment so you don't already know what happens. When Dad saw them, he let out a whoa, but he had a big smile on his face. Uppy! yelled the bean, laughing his googly laugh. Mum took one look and turned to Lizzie. Elizabeth Maud Peterson, are you out of your mind? She only used Lizzie's full name when she was really, really upset with her. Mum, Lizzie began. Miss Dobbins interrupted. I know it's a lot to ask, she said, and normally I would only send Skipper and her family to a home where the caretakers were experienced with very young puppies. But we're in a jam. We just have too many dogs on our hands. Dad and Charles and the Bean were talking excitedly as she watched the puppies play. Look at that little one. What a cutie. That's the boy. The other two are girls. Bossy big sisters, said Charles, just like mine. He grinned and stuck out his tongue at Lizzie. 
Meanwhile, the two bigger puppies knocked the smaller one down as they wrestled over a squeaky rubber toy. Charles laughed. They look just like the puppies in that book, So Many Puppies, he asked. That was one of his and Lizzie's favourite books of all time. Mary Thompson, the author, had just moved to Littleton. That was big news. And there was even bigger news. On Monday, she was coming to Littleton Elementary to visit with all the classes. Charles and Lizzie's mum, who was a reporter for the Littleton News, had written an article about the author. She had gone to her house to interview her, and she said that Mary Thompson wasn't stuck up at all, even though she was famous. Now Mrs Peterson didn't say a word. She wasn't even watching the puppies. She was still frowning at Lizzie. How could we possibly handle a whole litter of puppies, she asked. With you and Charles in school, and the bean needing so much attention at home, she shook her head. Oh, Mum, said Charles, please, pretty, pretty, please. He looked at her pleadingly. Uppy, Bean asked hopefully. Okay, powwow time, Dad said. Here what I think, here's what I think. It would be a lot of work, but if we all pitch in, we can do it. He smiled down at Lizzie and Charles. These two have proved that they can be very responsible, he reminded Mum. I'm game if the rest of you are, he finished. It would be a great family experience, Lizzie added. She knew her mother would be big on things that brought the family together. And it's only for a few weeks. And you'd be doing us a huge favour, said Ms Dobbins. We will support you in any way we can, including giving you supplies and plenty of advice. Mum finally stopped staring at Lizzie. She glanced into the kennel at Skipper and her puppies, and Lizzie saw her mother's eyes soften. The boy puppy was whimpering for his mother. He needed help. He was stuck between two big dog bowls. Skipper nudged him gently and his whimpers turned to happy sighs as he ran away from the bowls and to his mum's side. Lizzie had his feeling that his mum was beginning to feel a connection to Skipper. After all, they were both mothers. Mum, Lizzie asked softly, please. Well, mum said. That is the end of chapter three, everyone. I'm really hoping you enjoy this. I know, I know how much I love reading and I just want to share, I just want to share my gift of reading to you all and I hope you appreciate that. I hope you also enjoy the new videos I'm putting out soon. I'll be doing Ninja Warrior soon, soon and I'll hopefully you'll be doing some more Ultimate Footy Books soon. See you later.